Welcome to our 2024 First Dice Contest brought to you by AccuView, featuring the AV822 Portable with lithium-ion battery, dynamic screen imaging, and high-definition video. So, in the 15 years that we've been testing ice for the First Dice Contest, this is the latest we've had walking ice uh, since 2016, where we had it on January the 6th. And speaking with anglers that have lived here all their lives, they've never seen walking ice this late in the season. So last week we got four or five inches of snow and then the next day temperatures were higher, melted all the snow and it rained. So we had a nice base set up for the ice and then we had a couple of more inches of snow. So I went out and started to test around the shoreline and things were looking pretty good. So my line of testing was where the drone flew and I had four to five inches uh, for the first 200 yards out there and then it got a little thinner. I was surprised at the quality of the ice. It is Friday, January the 12th and it's been a long time to get here but we're actually out testing for the uh, first ice contest we're in our first location 200 yards now it's meters off of the uh, point at uh, Tuthope Park here Barnstable Point and the green marker out here so I've been testing it on the way out and some places there's five inches ice some places is three inches ice so we're going to drill a hole here and see how much is here. I must warn anybody, this ice is very inconsistent because of the snow we had. We did have a snow about four inches and then we'd melted and there was rain on top of it and it froze and that's what gave us what we got other than two inches of black ice that was already there. So we're gonna drill a hole, test it and just see what we got. Very cold weather moving up for the next few days so that'll help. Oh, that's promising. So we have we have three and a quarter inches of black ice here. And of course, in our first ice contest, we're looking for four inches of black ice. Now, of course, with this cold spell coming up, it's not going to be long before we're going to have four inches of black ice. Could be a day and a half, two days. It's going to be very cold even this afternoon. There we have it. Now, I know it looks like three and a half, but it's not. There's a little bit of junk on the top here. So it's really three and a quarter inches. But it's good quality ice. I can see through it. So we have some big winds coming up this afternoon and all day tomorrow as well. And maybe that'll blow some of the snow off of here. The ice is probably too thick now for the wind to affect it. All it might bounce and get some cracks and make some wet spots. As I say, the ice is very volatile, particularly near shore. And nobody knows what's out there. I mean, guys are walking out there. We can see people fishing out there, but they could be walking on two inches of ice. So what we're going to do for the first ice contest, gonna get, given that it's going to be minus 10 uh, and better uh, for the next three days, but it'll take about, uh, we'll make about a half inch ice um, uh, between today and tomorrow morning. And then we're gonna assume another uh, quarter inch of ice by the time we hit midnight tomorrow night. So we're gonna call it official for the uh, first ice contest as of January the 14th. So that will be the official for it, January the 14th. Now, if anybody's thinking of venturing out here, you should be experienced, not by yourself. Um, don't go out in big winds. Make sure you have all the equipment with you, including a floater suit. And if, you, if you're not experienced and you don't know this lake like the back of your hand, don't come on it. Thanks for watching.